you find basic balance training exercises too easy? Are you looking for a little more challenge in your balance training program? Well, maybe the slack block is just what you need. The slack block is uh, something I discovered after posting my video on balance training a while back, and I thought it'd be fun to order it and uh, give it a try to see uh, how well it was at helping me improve my balance. Now their uh, tagline is balance is power, and uh, I'm ready to put that to the test here. So what I'm going to do is uh, go through the uh, program that is included with the slack block, work the program for about a week or two, and then report back and see what kind of gains I have made in my balance in that time. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it, and we'll learn a little bit about the uh, slack block here and how the balance training exercises work. Okay, so what is the slack block? Well, the slack block is essentially a block of foam with a board on top of it. Sounds pretty basic, doesn't it? So here you have a block of kind of dense closed cell foam, and then on top of it is a board with some grip tape. And the slack block comes in three different sizes from what I could tell from the website. So this is size 13, 190 pounds, and below. I'm currently weighing about 171, so this seemed to be the size for me. And by looking at the website, um, they want to make sure that the, the foam provides enough give and uh, resistance uh, depending on your weight. So de depending on your weight, you will need to order a specific size. Uh, I ordered this uh, from the website uh, and paid my own money for this. This is not uh, a paid promotion. Nobody's paying me to, uh, to, to review this. This is just something I thought was interesting. They have a, uh, a training video that goes with the uh, slack block that kind of gives you a series of exercises to, uh, to build your balance. So I'm going to go ahead and, and show you uh, kind of what their approach is to it. And this will be the first time I've stood on this thing. So wish me luck here. So let's go ahead and get set up and we'll, we'll go through this a little bit. I took a look at the slack block website. And from what I could tell from the website, the slack block is designed as a way to obviously improve balance in everybody, but the emphasis seems to be on uh, athletes. I think that's where they're saying balance is power. Their thinking is that if you are balanced and you have a good sense of balance, then you're better able to use power and strength and speed uh, in your daily activity, but also in sports. Their emphasis seems to be on working balance in what is the athletic position. In other words, knees bent, kind of at the ready, ready, you know, like think of a, a shortstop ready to catch a ball or basketball player. You're kind of ready to move in any direction, forward, back, up, and down. So their emphasis seems to be on maintaining an athletic position and then building balance in that position. So they recommend that before you use the slack block that you do a basic uh, kind of a balance assessment to make sure that your balance is good enough that you will benefit from the slack block. So they, they have a couple of uh, tests, kind of a progression. The first one is on a level hard surface. Just be in the athletic position, put one foot behind the other, and then just pick it up and balance. If you're able to do that for 10 seconds, you pass the first test. The second one is to make it a little more difficult, and they recommend folding up a towel so it's a little fluffy and unstable. Can you lift up your foot in the athletic position and balance for 10 seconds? If you're able to do that on both the solid floor as well as the towel, they say that you probably have enough good basic balance to benefit from using the slack block. So I do like that uh, component. They want to make sure that you do have basic balance. And they say, hey, if you can't do the basic on the floor balance at all, then you need to uh, do some basic strength exercises, maybe talk to your doctor or physical therapist and build up to the level that you can, you can do that. And then you can use the slack block. <clears throat> Their program is based on obviously that athletic position, but three different positions of your foot on the slack block. 
The first position is just standing straight on the slack block. Second position is your foot turned. So your heel is on the block and your big toe and the next toe are, but the rest of the toes are off the side. And then the third position is your foot perpendicular to the slack block. So in other words, cross. The routine is based on each foot in those three different positions, two minutes in each position for each leg. So a workout would be a total of 12 minutes. My plan is to uh, go through the 12-minute uh, progression uh, over the next week or two. Hopefully I can get it done every day. If not, it'll be every other day. So I should be able to get anywhere from five to 10 sessions. And then uh, I will report back and let you all know how my balance has improved, if at all. Uh, I think it will improve my balance. Uh, I'll find out over the next uh, a week or so and then uh, I'll sit down and give you my uh, final I guess uh, thoughts and opinions on the uh, slack block and improving your balance with it. All right day one using the uh, slack block first two minutes it says two minutes of effort so I don't have to do it for full two minutes definitely is difficult much harder than standing just on your foot feel all the muscles firing it is a bit of a workout. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Definitely uh, feel it. My left leg is a little tired right now. Everything is just moving in every direction at once. Hips, ankles, knees, <laughs> everything is being challenged. Completely different. Still tough, but I can really feel the inside of the foot working on this one much harder. The leg is still tired from the first session. I can feel the muscles firing. I'm gonna have, uh, probably gonna have uh, sore legs tonight. <laughs> a lot of uh, muscle activation that I am not getting in normal activity. The foot is really firing. Kind of working up a little bit of a sweat, concentrating. It is definitely challenging. Now the last one. Foot across. Much harder than even the other one. <laughs> yeah, muscles that I didn't know I have <laughs> are being activated here it seems like. I'm probably going to be a little, a little sore tomorrow. There you go. Day one uh, with the slack block. Uh, very, very challenging. That being said, though, I could feel things, body getting a little used to it, especially in the first two positions. The third one is still uh, almost impossible for me. So uh, I will uh, keep doing this. I'll do, give you another little update partway through, and then we'll uh, sit down at the end of that 10 or 12 day period and give you my final thoughts. But uh, it's a workout for sure. Okay, day eight of using the uh, slack block and gotten a little better. It's still very, very challenging, but my average time being able to balance without uh, having to reset is going up. So I've done about six, uh, six sessions in those eight days and definitely getting better. Uh, the first two positions are pretty good. This third one, across the block, is still super, super, super challenging. But I am improving at that as well. So um, let's uh, sit down and I'll give you kind of my final thoughts and uh, opinions on the slack block as a balance training tool. Okay. So some final thoughts and uh, opinions on the slack block. I've used this for just a little under two weeks. I've done about six sessions in that two week period and my balance has definitely improved as a result of using the slack block. Uh, this is a very challenging balance training tool and I have a long ways to go before I will master the slack block. So from that standpoint, 
from value and getting use out of it over the long term, I think the slack block is something that uh, you can use for quite a long time. It's lightweight, it's portable, so you can take it with you almost wherever you go and uh, work on your balance almost anywhere. So that is an advantage there. The cost of the slack block is $64, I think just under $64. I will post a link to the slack block website down below in the, in the description. And uh, with shipping, all in is about $70. I think they charge a little bit more for the large version, which is 15 inch in length. So it's just more material. Uh, I think it's three or $4 more. So for Roughly $70, you're getting a very effective balance training tool that can really, I think, up your balance skills to that next level. But if you are just getting started building balance skills, I would not run out, rush out, and get a slack block. I would work on basic balance skill building exercises first and get comfortable with the basics. Uh, I did a video on that a little while ago. Uh, I'll post a link to that at the end of the video here that you can check out some basic balance skills. But once you've got to that level, I think the slack block can be a very valuable tool. Um, I, in using this, I found that I had muscles and tendons and the way my body moved trying to adjust to staying balanced on this um, brought in some muscles that frankly I didn't know I had. The first couple times I used this, my legs were a little sore and stiff the next day, kind of in a good way, not painful, but you know that uh, you got to work out and um, your feet uh, will definitely uh, get stronger using this. Your body's going to get more flexible. Your balance is definitely going to improve. So I think it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, so is it worth $70? I think so if you are going to use it. If you don't use it, then it's a really expensive block of foam. But if you do use it on, uh, you know, a couple times a week, your balance is going to improve greatly, which is only a positive. That's going to translate to better performance in whatever sport it is that you do, as well as better stability and uh, reducing the chance of falls no matter what you do as you go through life. And that is always a positive. So there you go. My thoughts on the slack block. It's worthwhile um, to build your balance uh, if you're serious about doing it. If you're not committed to it, then it's kind of an expensive uh, uh, toy. But if you are committed to it, I highly recommend you uh, take a look at the uh, slack block. And if you are watching this and you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that uh, subscribe button. That's a great way to become part of the community. And while you're at it, if you like what you're seeing and you want to share it with others, give that thumbs up a serious nudge. That's the best way to uh, get the word out to everybody on YouTube about what we are doing here at Life Maximus. And uh, if you want to get some basic balance skills, check out this video over here. Uh, that I did a while back on building basic balance skills. It'd be a great way to get started. And then when you get good at that, you can get the slack block. All right, that's it for now. Hope everything is going well. And until the next time, be well.